gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. Nah, right, Dutch, you'll be surprised, but what whatever. The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. What? A solution. Good day. How do they people. find us? Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. Why can't we Go kill him here. now? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity, and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place... Ain't no such thing. It's civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah. And is that a we foreshadowing or what? Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Why can't we kill him right then and there? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. I agree. This is crazy. It's crazy ahead. how we lost me. Jack. I know the way. We can't even locate the boy because he could be somewhere halfway across the world. And it sucks because this boy be right, is paying for our sins. We will. We have to move everyone first before.
before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail, or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta... Wait, you could on. think, John? Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? I don't even want to know. I can't even count. Playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Rest in peace. Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. That's Come right. On. It ain't all bad. Wow, it's look at John right being the wiser. We'll get through it. Being yeah. the wise one Dutch for once. It. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. He is speaking facts. Hey, facts. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I mean, sure I killed not. a lot of people here, right. so. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. A little bit of ladies here. Like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit the notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. The whole time we were writing, John was speaking nothing but the facts. He was the truth man because I agree with everything he was saying. What? Okay, who am I supposed to shoot? I don't even see anyone. Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll of course. Them you keep watch out here. Ah, uh, let me go ahead and loot. Let me see what type of stuff I have here. All right, I'm ready. Who's in here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's mad heads here, huh? Nah, sorry. Sorry, we're not gonna do that. Who else is here? Come out, because I'm not in the mood to kill anyone else. Let me know. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Oh, man. Oh, there is people. This is ours now. There is people upstairs, right. Okay. Say less. Come here. This is a nice, gorgeous house, too. And look how it turned out. Right here. Right here. Oh, come on, man. Come here. Come here. Stop hiding. Right here. Right here. All right. That's another one. All right. I'm going to go through here. Ooh. I got shot. All right, at this point, let me go ahead and chew some tobacco so I can regain my dead eye. Wow, look at this. All right, one more in here, right? 
I'm ready. I am ready. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpet beggars. You can call me every name in the book. I really don't care. Just get the hell out of the house. This is ours. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Okay, say less. I didn't even need to kill him. Could not care less. I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Yeah. He decided to go all, all emo on me and just unalived himself to make some sort of a statement that I really don't care about. Either way, this house is ours, so we're good. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Of course. Follow me. Where are we dragging them to? This way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Say less. Say less. I can't wait. Because usually there's some alligators around here, so if that's the case. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Got them in. Oh no, I got blood on my jacket. What the hell? I'm pissed. I love this jacket. Now I gotta change. Some nerve. Okay. So let me get the other three bodies here, and then we should be all set. This house is beautiful, but I can't even imagine the amount of property taxes I would have to pay for this dump here. Let me loot this guy first. Ooh, a dollar and 14 cents. Damn, that's mad money right there. I wonder if the alligator is already eating the first body, because I totally want to see that, honestly. I know that sounds a bit morbid, but graphic-wise, it intrigues me. Man, this house. I can tell this house had a lot of memories attached to it. This is a workout, I'm not gonna lie. Ew, and the flies. Flies are already swarming around the body. Wait, that one's gone. Let me see, let me see. Really? No alligator action? Come on, Red Dead. Be, be a little bit more realistic, I wanna see that. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. I don't know, Dutch. Honestly, no matter how chaotic things are in your life, you should be able to take some time out to talk to your girl, but then again, I can tell you really don't give a rat's ass about your relationship, so... Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about 
Pinkertons. I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. Oh, you do? Wow. The paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. You Anything always say that. To to always need more money, but always messing things up for people. At this point, you're just a laughing stock of a joke. You are a walking joke, Dutch. You really are. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Dang, I love the rainbow among the factory. Gives it a nice little... Always Woo! Repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Look yes. at how much pollution they're throwing into the sky. You know, if I ever lived back in the past, I would actually want to be in the country compared to the city. Wow, well, wow. Well. I'm a city slicker now. How cute. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Galvin? Look out. What? This guy is still trying to find Galvin? Oh, I am so sorry. My No, 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 no. Chill. I'm sorry. What? I, that was by accident. Dang, man. Leave me alone. That was by accident. Now I got a group of people trying to chase me off. I don't know how to... I explained the exact difference between the races using real... Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. Let me go ahead and start all over. Because, you know... I'm not trying to mess up my street cred here. All right, let me do it again. Let me do this again. Ah, oh, that Galvin guy. No? Ah, oh, I missed out. Sorry. I am so sorry. I'm not used to the city life. Move. Wait, a beggar? Get out. Yeah, here. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. What nice did you friend. just get? Oh, snake it's nice oil? To give something instead of just begging. You know, I appreciate that. I, I thought. For money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> Listen, things happen. You do what you can, you know? Yo, I seriously thought he was gonna shank me at first. I'm like, damn, this is what happens when I, when I try and help people. But honestly, he was a nice beggar. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and start searching for the boy. Bonjour, indeed, mademoiselle. Okay, this is cute. Let me see. Let me check out this guy here. Okay, the trumpet. Hello. That's nice. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? I'm all about woman suffrage, so what's good? No? 
Okay, I guess not. I mean, I hear someone saying, let me vote, so let the missus vote. Am I right? All right, you know what? It's time for me. It's time for me to help that woman. Who's now letting you vote? Are you? Are you it? Hello, ma'am. Oh, how do you do? Are you the one that says, let me vote? Real beautiful country around this area. Well, then. Okay, I guess not. Wait. Who? Who is that lady? I, I want to know. Cause. This country a real ah, I see you. Disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as you. Preach. I'm all about women's suffrage, ma'am. No, keep going. It's okay. Ma'am. You, my friend. Mm -hmm. What do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. <laughs> Yo, oh, I agree. Dull for you. Oh, come on, lady. I hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Oh. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> she is so disappointed in me no but seriously though sometimes i feel like when i do vote it doesn't make a difference but that's just my prerogative all right let me let me go ahead and be more civilized because this is the big city here not no country living damn Oh, my horse! I am so sorry. I didn't know this was a track. My bad. Alright. Ooh, right here in a liquor store? Okay. I can start doing my search right here. Stick him up, cowboy. Are you kidding me? Who's trying to rob me? <laughs> yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all look the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? Ta Listen, Dutch, coming from now. you, ha, you have some nerve. Wow, am I that noticeable? Can I just chill? Get all your eyes off of my ass, please? Thank you. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. <clears throat> Excuse America's me. dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's, that's why we love it. Hello? Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Mm. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me? Hey, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Who was in here before? Tell my Dutch? Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Yeah. Big. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know cocksucker. I mean, His accent's funny Where to me. Cocksucker. Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Kids in the alley, of well, course. 
you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Ew, and a racist? Shut the hell up. Some nerve, man. So the kid's in the alleyway, right? So we're talking about this alleyway right here? Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. You're Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you helping. So, on the left right here. Wow, this courtyard is beautiful. This is a nice area to have a nice little peaceful tea, some biscuits, write some poetry and whatnot. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, Here. Come on. This way. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Got Come some on, kids following me, too. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the Is right that side. some sort of foreshadowing of some kind? Of reader myself. And this kid's right behind me. Piece of art. I don't know if he's trying to protect the little one or they're trying to like Mr. mug me, but Monaco, I'm aware. Famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Oh, he stole my shit! Get going! He's coming after us! I am about to... Yo, he basically... Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to whoop his sorry little ass. Nope. It's okay. I'm gonna run, run, run. As much as possible. What the hell? Come on. I can't wait to whoop your ass. The audacity. The audacity. Nah. Nah. Where's my horse? Dead ass. Where is my horse? These little scum kids. Nah, it's cool. Nah, it's cool. Excuse me. Thank you. Where's these fucking kids? Excuse me. No, I'm not. That's my money. Come here, little ass. Move. He stole my shit. I can't wait. Ah, whatever. Nah, right here. Come on. Thank you. Oh, I know where he went off. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Jump, Arthur. Jump. That little shit. I can't wait till I whoop your sorry little ass. Come on. Come on. Anyways. Where is this little schmunk? There you go. There you go. Where is this little kid? I don't care. I'm just trying to figure out where this damn kid is. Always gotta steal my stuff, huh? Thinking you could get away. Ah, got you! Come here! 
shit! Come on, Arthur! You got your stuff, basically. Come on. Thank you. Got you. He's afraid, I can tell. Mm. What? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here. Whatever. You mess with me again and I'll... Ice all of you guys. Disrespectful little punks. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.